Gwedwin has been given £450. He decides to invest £450 in the Eagle Saver account for four years. The Eagle Saver account pays an AER of 5.2% PA per annum. Will Gwedwin have sufficient money in his Eagle Star account to buy a television costing £550 in four years? You must show you all your re workings and give a reason for your answer. Okay, so we're going to need to work out the interest that he's going to receive on the £450 over four years. So we've got £450 times by, well, the percentage is 5.2, so that's going to be 1.052 for our multiplier to the power of 4 because it's over 4 years. Okay, so 450 times 1.052 to the power of 4 gives us 551.5157 whatever. Right, so you will receive after 4 years years he will have 551 pounds and 16 pence in his eagle saver so he will have more money than he needs for his TV. There we are. So we can buy it. Part B. Gwedwin is also interested in opening a saving account. Gwedwin has some details for a kite saving account. And there we have a nominal interest rate of 6.8 PA paid quarterly. So this Interest is paid on to your savings each quarter this time. Okay, first part says write 6.8 as a decimal. All right, so to turn a percentage into a decimal, divide by 100. So we got 0 0.068. Okay, would you expect the AER for the kite saver account to be greater than or equal to 8.6.8 percent? Tick one of the boxes below without doing any calculations, give an explanation for your answer. Okay, so if he was paid annually at 6.8, he would be paid once a year annually. But here he's going to be paid that percentage quarterly. So four times a year, it's going to be added on to his account. So you would expect the AER to be greater than 6.8. And we, because the interest would be added on every three months. So it means after three months, that interest then earns interest. And after six months, you get another lot of interest, which then earns interest as well. So it'll end up being more than 6.8. Okay. In the table above, complete the AER column, correct to two decimal places for the kite saving account. Okay, and they've given us the formula. This formula is also on the front of the paper. So here's our formula then. 1 plus I over N to the power N, take away 1. Okay. I is a nominal, nominal interest rate per annum, it's a decimal, so we've got that by there. So we've got 1 plus 0 0.068 over N is the number of compounding periods per annum. So it's paid quarterly, so there's four of those. And put four here as well, take away the one. Right, so this is the equivalent annual rate. So on our calculator, we're going to do, whoops, wrong one, bracket, 1 plus 0.068 over 4, close our bracket, to the power of 4, 
take away one and we get that. Which is a death as a percentage multiplied by 100 to turn it into a percentage. We're going to get 6.98%. Okay, so that would be the per annum rate. Pop that back up there. Okay, explain why banks use AER. Well, they use it so that you can have a fair comparison of the interest rates because if they're all at different points, so some are quarterly and some are monthly and some are annual. It's very difficult to compare them unless you've got an annual equivalent rate. So it makes the comparison fair. It makes comparisons between rates of interest. There. Okay?